Welcome back. Joining us now live in studio is Sergeant Chris Kim of Crime Stoppers Honolulu. He's here to talk about this week's cases that police need your help with. But first, we want to go back to a story that we touched on at the top of the newscast. William Burr, he is a man with dementia who is missing. Uh, the latest, a bloodhound on the search and rescue team picked up his scent today. So, uh, Sergeant Kim, what can people do to help dementia patients who wander? Actually, if you have any friends or family um, that suffer from dementia, we actually encourage people to uh, invest in those uh, GPS type trackers uh, or even an ID bracelet in the event that um, they're out and about and lost. Someone who sees them can basically look up that ID or you're able to track them on the GPS um, bracelet. Uh, we also, as soon as they're missing, there is no timeline. Sometimes people think, well, they need to be missing for 24 hours. That's a common misconception. As soon as you feel like somebody's missing, go ahead and call 911 and start uh, initiate the missing persons case so that way the police can get on it right away. That's really important for people to keep in mind. How often do we see these types of cases like this where people with dementia go missing? I actually would like to say, uh, as far as Crime Stoppers in, we usually see news releases uh, requests coming in uh, usually about maybe once a month. Uh, oftentimes, in fact, majority of the times, we're able to reunite them with their families just due to the public help. So once again, we're encouraging the public to help us with this case. Uh, he was last seen uh, walking around the Central Wahoo Regional Park area um, by a passerby who had saw the posting on social, social media, uh, looked back on his uh, vehicle uh, camera system and saw him walking on the street. So we're actually asking people, uh, that was the last updated photo that we had of him wearing that uh, red shirt with the blue vest and tan pants. If you do see him out and about, please contact him. Uh, call, in fact, call police right away as opposed to Crime Stoppers. Yeah, better to do it sooner than later. And we want to turn now to a possible stranger danger case. A mother and a daughter were reportedly followed by a car after cheer practice. It happened at Kailua District Park yesterday. Then the mom says she noticed the car following her for about 15 minutes, so she started to make random turns. Mm -hmm. The vehicle is described as being completely blacked out, a four-door car with no license plates, no make or model. So if folks ever find themselves in a similar situation, situation, how are they supposed to handle something like this? I think first and foremost, your safety is utmost, the number one priority. Uh, if you're able to, as soon as you're able to, go ahead and call 911. Uh, let the dispatcher know as to what's going on, what your observations are that this vehicle has been following for this amount of distance. Um, if you're able to give a description of the vehicle, pay attention to the color, make model if possible, any distinguishing characteristics about the vehicle, any certain like rust marks, uh, stickers, uh, and just let the dispatcher know where you are, what's happening, uh, description of the vehicle, the driver. If you're able to get to the nearest police station, please do so right away. We discourage you from actually going home. I was just going to say, it was yeah. probably smart of that woman, right, to just make random turns, yes. not to go straight home in that situation. Oh, we want to turn to more cases that police need help with this week, a criminal property damage case in Waipahu. Yes, yeah, so on Sunday, September 24, 2023, at about 8.14 a.m., this male was captured in video surveillance throwing a rock at the front window of the Bank of Hawaii in Waipahu, causing uh, some, some damages. Uh, he's been described as an unknown male between 40 and 50 years old, thin build, brown complexion, long gray hair tied in a ponytail, and he had tattoos on his left inner forearm. And then the next case is someone who stole from a vehicle in Haleiwa on Oahu's North Shore. Yeah, as far as this case, on Saturday, July 29, 2023, about 1.22 p.m., uh, the complainant had momentarily left their vehicle and left the rear cargo area open when this male actually approached the vehicle and stole a backpack and then fled. Uh, he's been described as an owner male in his 40s, 5 feet 9 inches to 5 feet 11 inches tall. He fled in a silver Nissan Murano bearing Hawaii license plates TFD116. Just want to encourage the public to please always lock and secure your doors. Don't leave nothing valuable within your vehicles. Even if you're leaving for just a second, right? And then uh, another case involving a suspect in a vehicle in Salt Lake. Yeah, as far as this case on Saturday, uh, September 16, 2023, at about 9.20 p.m., uh, this male uh, was captured video surveillance breaking into the A1 auto sales lot and then breaking into the vehicle and stealing property. Uh, he's been described as an unknown male between 20 and 30 years old. He had a medium build, fair complexion. Uh, he was with another unknown male between 20 to 30 years old, medium build, fair complexion. They fled in a Honda Accord, golden color with black hood and trunk. Um, Everything we talked about today can be seen on the www.hungupi.org website, bottom left-hand corner, under Wanted Suspects. Perfect. Well, thank you so much again, as always, for stopping in studio to talk about us. Sergeant Chris Kim of Crime Stoppers, Honolulu, thank you. Thank Marissa, you. back to you.